Eminent domain is the term used to describe the government's power to seize private property for public use. Eminent domain is frequently used by transportation departments building highways through developed areas, for example. But other forms of big infrastructure and capital investment projects might also depend on the ability to seize private property. You can imagine then that eminent domain can be very controversial. It doesn't help that government hasn't always used this power wisely or fairly. One other note of caution if you're thinking about adding eminent domain to your vocabulary, make sure to avoid the common mistake of pronouncing or writing it as imminent domain. I am not exactly sure what eminent domain is, but it sounds kind of scary. The power of eminent domain is described in a section of the Fifth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution called the Takings Clause. These few short words have been subject of some intense legal scrutiny over the years, but let's just say that the line between constitutional and unconstitutional is being constantly litigated. One of the most famous Supreme Court cases involving eminent domain Kilo v. New London even inspired a major motion picture called Little Pink House, which was released in 2017. The 2005 ruling in that case decided that the government's power of eminent domain included the ability to seize property for the purpose of economic development, even for private interests. So you can see why eminent domain is a critical concept for planning. Its legal definition determines the boundaries of public power to seize and redevelop private property. And because it pits ideas of individual liberty and property rights against ideas about social good and public welfare, eminent domain creates one of those ideological quandaries that makes the work of planning so immensely challenging and intellectually stimulating.